was very good, a good recovery, and he's been very, very unlucky. How has the cue ball oh. ever ended up there? That is incredible. Yeah, just needed a nudge on any other red there. But for a moment, he was going to just nudge the two reds, nudge the pink, nudge anything. Nearly a nudge. Well, how did that pink not go in? And if it had it done, that would have been back to the dressing room time. Won't go, won't go. It will go! He thought he'd missed it, so did I. Once it hit the top cushion, I thought there's no way it could drop. Well, when you consider Barry Hawkins had a pink today, that was much better hit than that and didn't go in. How has that one gone in? Oh. <laughs> well, how has he found the gap there, John? Uh, that is unbelievable. That really is <laughs> unbelievable. How has he found the gap? Seven. Wow. You couldn't do that. Oh, he had missed the red on the left-hand side of the table. How did he get through that gap? <laughs> Do you know, John, there's little things happening out there, and fate sometimes can play a big part in sport, but there's certain things just going on now. Another look at this. How did he get round the back of the red? Chance to develop the three reds on the left-hand side cushion here with power. Oh, my word. That is unbelievable. Wow. Six. Can't quite believe that. I thought we might play it with more pace, but just a slight flick on the first red there and to go through that gap is incredible you could play that shot a hundred times and not do that even if you tried oh well could come back and bite you this game if you that's about three chances had to pot the ball which would force a concession from his opponent as you quite rightly said previously, John, there's quite a nice target area now between the pink and black. And I was a little bit surprised that on his previous shot, Stuart decided not to try to get the cue ball. Well, that's oh. unbelievable. Can you believe that? Frame conceded. And Frame that's Carmel. a concession. I mean, how did the yellow not drop? Unbelievable. Strange things happen at the Crucible. He potted this, is he? Oh! Well... <laughs> <laughs> I like the follow-through from Graham, I did. <laughs> <laughs> He's jumping around like Skippy the kangaroo. <laughs> but it does beg the question, can Ali pot this red? Yes, he can. There's enough gap between the white and the red where just it's in the red. It'll drop. One. Here's the shot. He swerved around the yellow rock. He thought he'd potted it. And then the white touched the red. It still didn't go in. No. No. But he's got the covering shot, has Barry he? Hawkins, five. I think he's played that in such a way that the black was going to cover it. But Graham can just miss the blue, come off the side cushion, pot the red, finish on the black, and clear up. Oh, dear. 
he can't believe he hasn't bothered that. Settle down, please. Thank you. Well, you can give him a hundred shots at this. And every time he made contact with a ready, we pot it. That was incredible. One. Creep behind the yellows, Mark did. Two cushion escape with pace. Oh, just missed it. Wow. Miss. Mark's help. Very close. <coughs> sure, Mark, I'll have yep. it Can replaced. Have it's so tough to judge. If he hits with a half ball, he might come down, hit the red and the pink. But if he hits the red, then it'll be a great shot. Oh, he's done the same oh. thing again now. Yes. <laughs> the John smiles. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, he didn't have a put back, so car park attendant again. Smiles all around, but now back to the serious stuff. Can he just catch that red? Yeah, and as you said, he doesn't want to catch it half ball because he could kiss the pink. So third time lucky is it? Oh, hello. Well, 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 well. I saw before. <laughs> Again, please. Come on, let's clip it this time, John. Well, <laughs> nice to see that relieves a bit of tension, I can tell you. But there was a lot of tension in the, those two opening frames. He enjoyed that. <laughs> 